future. In February 1984, Timex Sinclair dropped its line of personal computers. It made the future look bleak for owners of its PCs at the time, but as Tom Tomaszewski reports, that future is now looking up. Jamaica Avenue, Queens. It's not the prototype of Silicon Valley, but Stuart Newfield is infected with the fever that forged the fame of that microelectronic capital just the same. His company is called Zebra Systems. They sell and make add-on equipment for Timex computers. The Timex company announced its decision to stop selling their computer on February 21st. Stewart's business staked down 20,000 of his own dollars again a few months earlier. Like survivors after the storm, Stewart and his customers are picking up the pieces bit by bit. I'm confident that there is a large installed base and I like um, the real, the second part of the answer is that I like doing this. Stewart and his customers expected the blow. They purchased spare products at bargain basement prices. Like children watching their parents break up, they have some bitter feelings about the divorce of Timex and Sinclair. They deserted us because there are thousands of consumers out there who are crying for information, for uh, uh, software. Timex, for its part, though, has provided detailed technical information necessary for these Timex supporters to develop new products. Timex does honor its warranties. They point troubled users in the direction of the hundred or so Timex user groups nationwide, and they point users towards product-holding dealers around the country. But Timex is out of the computer business. That leaves Timex users clinging together, a family determined. They have to be. Everybody knows there's other people out there in the same boat and sinking, so to speak. Sue Courier's SoftSync software company was born producing software solely for the Timex computer line. The signs of her company's survival are there behind her. SoftSync began to produce software for other computers. The heyday of the Timex Sinclair lasted six months for SoftSync until Atari and Commodore began waging a price war. SoftSync is selling and duplicating the programs it already has, but doesn't plan on producing new ones. Those will have to come from users or third-party vendors. It'll be for themselves, for their families. Uh, if they know of a newsletter, they can put it in, and if someone wants it, fine. But it certainly won't be broad-based distribution, and you have to be plugged into the users' groups and or the newsletters to even know what's going on. It's easy to forget that the computer's heart is the chips inside. There's a body of some 260 hardware, software, and add-on products available for the Timex and Glare series computers. A cottage industry of small independence has developed everything from programs to modems and floppy disk drives for the little computer. Sinclair Computer Imports from England continue to be an important Timex support source. Zebra Systems has developed add-ons providing keyboards with beeps to reinforce typing action, game paddle adapters, and a voice synthesis device. And they have new product plans. Sometimes the quiet people turn out to be most tenacious. I am not dead yet. Stewart admits he is selling things in the hundreds he had hoped to be selling in the thousands. Working out of the freezer in an old pizza parlor turned beer depot, turned high-tech factory, isn't glamorous. The company only has four employees, including him, but he says they're growing and they're making money and we shouldn't worry about him. Someone could have earned more money during the past two years by working for an aerospace company again. But I am chasing part of the American dream, which is, you know, entrepreneurship. And I, and I like it. You can set your watch for the trains rumbling overhead outside Zebra Systems' office. The trains running on the computer industry track are not as reliable. Zebra Systems has their ear to that track. If they detect the sound signaling the derailment of another computer company, they're prepared to change trains, change companies. They're confident they can avoid being dragged to ruin and instead follow the computer industry track to success. It is in Silicon Valley, but the fever here is just as strong. Though Timex Sinclair users in New York still may have the fever, that's not the case for everyone left holding the bag with an out-of-production computer. The fleeting nature of some models has left tens of thousands of disgruntled users 
taking a long, hard look at the world of personal computers.